New at 11, a new game plan for a local football coach. You could find Darren Chenault on Moeller's sideline tonight. And while his focus is on the players, as WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Ryle explains, it's also on something that will change his life. If he wants to, it's like a Friday nights. The feeling I get before a game. The nerves come alive. You kind of still get nervous because you want the kids to be prepped and ready to go. And Moeller assistant coach Darren Chenault. Make sure he knows that, all right? Feels it too. You're ready to go. You, you know you're ready to go in the back of your mind even though you're still a little bit nervous and scared up front. No playbook could have ever predicted what would happen one month ago. And at practice, it's like I'm an 80 year old man. His energy gone. He knew something wasn't right. I said, I've been doing this for 32 years. So I came home and I told my wife and we went to go see a doctor. The diagnosis, kidney failure. The options, a donation or dialysis. I just want to do everything that I can to make sure that he gets what he needs so he can be around his kids a little longer, be with his wife for a little longer. Despite the obstacles, Defense! Defense! you can still find Chenault on the sideline. Doing your job, just doing your job. There's nowhere else he'd rather be. It's more than football because you, you're teaching these kids how to live life. A team surrounds him. Hey! of both student athletes and family. He won't stop. He is truly dedicated. Okay. Hey, here we go. Chenault should be finished with medical tests by the end of October. Play up and watch for the draw set. And he isn't letting a diagnosis get in the way of a winning attitude. Be ready to go, and I'm hoping to have a match by then. So perfect world, win state, go to surgery the next day and then start, you know, part two of my life. And if you're interested in helping the cause, we'll have more information on our website, WCPO.com. Jake Ryle, WCPO, 9 News.